Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm going to be talking about early modern Europe, the good parts. So if you are familiar with JavaScript, it looks something like this. Uh, a little while ago, I was watching Wolf Hall, because I've reached that point in my life where I watch PBS and go to bed at 8 o'clock. And I was wondering why Henry VIII could not get a divorce and marry Anne Boleyn. To answer that, let's start with Charlemagne, who was king of the Franks. And he came after the Merovingians through his father, Pepin the Short. Rulers had epithets back then, many of which were quite rude. But they were necessary because your name was probably either Charles or Louis or Charles or Louis or Louis or Charles or Charles or Charles, or if you're lucky, Lothair. <laughs> Charlemagne was crowned emperor of the Romans in exchange for protection of the Pope. He conquered much of Europe, but when his son died, the land was split three ways among his grandchildren. The East became the Holy Roman Empire and the West became France, both of which vied over time for protection of the Pope. Now I want to focus on Normandy, which was ruled by the Normans from Norway, in particular, this guy William. William had a claim to England and successfully invaded it, making him the first French-speaking king of England and establishing England as a French vassal. After a period in England known as the Anarchy, England became ruled by the Plantagenets, who, who brought large land holdings in Europe through Eleanor, the former queen of France, who had just been recently granted a divorce. Meanwhile, in France, the Carolingian dynasty ended, as did the Robertian, then the Capetian, finally beginning the dynasty of the Valois. This new king was not popular with some French nobles who invited Edward III of England to press his claim and invade. The first stage of this war was a victory for England. Meanwhile, in Rome, the Western schism began when two different men claimed to be the pope, with Europe split on who they support. Both popes excommunicated each other, but being pope types, they were immune. The schism resulted in dissatisfaction with the church, laying the groundwork much later for the Protestant Reformation. The second stage of the war was fought within France between the houses of Burgundy and Armagnac. The Armagnac faction invited the English king, Henry V, to reinvade. Despite early wins, the French claimed a final victory with the help of Joan of Arc. Up in England, after watching nine seasons of Game of Thrones, the houses of Lancaster and York begin the War of the Roses, with the Tudors eventually winning. Henry, ma <coughs> Henry marries his son, the future Henry VIII, to Catherine of Aragon, niece of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, who had just been named Defender of the Church for his role in persecuting Martin Luther and the growing Protestant faction in Europe, making the Pope unwilling to give Henry the divorce he so desperately sought. And that's the story of how this guy caused this guy to deny this guy a divorce, making this guy very happy. If you want to learn more, I built a website that tries to cover a thousand years of history in a visual, synchronous manner, covering 274 monarchs, their biographies, relationships, wars, and relates their reign back to scientific, military, and religious events happening across the world. Check it out sometime. Thank you.